Good morning, everyone. This morning is an absolute beautiful morning. It's 67 degrees out, a light breeze, and the sun shining. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain this afternoon, but that's okay because we need the rain, and it's going to be a short day for us anyhow. I think we only have like a 10 yards to do, so let's get started. Okay, we just finished cutting a yard on the busiest street in Alpena, our town here. And this lady is getting cut off. She is uh, a lot farther behind on her bill than she should be. I went through this with her before and she did everything for a while and now she's right back to where she's at and uh, we're done with it. Now, we probably should not have cut it this time I wasn't thinking about it, I was just thinking about what I had to do, but she should have been cut off last month. So, and uh, the yard that it is, if you've been following along the channel for a while, it's the driveway I plow in the wintertime where it's really, really narrow. I'll put a link up here on, if I can find a video with uh, me plowing that driveway. It's just a horrible place. And the street's just way too busy, so. And then they, they do all their trimming of their I don't know they're like junky trees or whatever that just grow they're like wild things that just grow anyways they trim them and then they just leave them there they never pick nothing up no so uh, we're done with this yard uh, they're gonna get an email tonight and tell them actually I should wait a week see if they pay first but um, I'm going to be giving them a name or sending them an email that uh, we're done with them. say in the morning I say good afternoon oh it's good morning good morning it feels like it's afternoon and it's like 11 30 a.m. <laughs> and uh, you might be asking a question of Mark and Vicki why are you whacking all them weeds down or actually them flowers and everything down because right? you can understand us cutting all them trees that are grown up everywhere as well this is a Airbnb 
rental. That's uh, another one of our customers that has multiple properties. And every year about this time, we come through and uh, we start taking out all the flowers and everything else, mowing everything down. As soon as the lilies and the hostas are done in the front, uh, we're going to be mowing them down too because what do we start doing at this time of the year, Vicki? What's that? Trim it? Yeah, we start trimming everything down, mowing everything down, getting ready for the fall. Because after uh, everything's done blooming, they just start looking like weeds, so we get rid of a lot of that stuff. Well, the ones in the, ones in the front, we leave them till the fall clean up because those actually, with the sun hitting them all day, they, they actually do pretty good up there. So they'll flower all summer. But uh, in the very front there, there's some other ones that are going to be some little, little uh, lilies that will be done. Like tiger lilies, we'll start mowing all them down. And I see there's a vine up there front there. Yeah, and they're, uh, I don't know, they just, they get into the sidewalk, that's when there's a problem. Yeah, so we start mowing all that stuff down. And the things that are never going to bloom again start looking ratty. We just kind of start bringing everything close together. And then come fall time when we've got to do a fall cleanup, it's super simple and easy. big yards done that needed to be done today and we just have a bunch of them small commercial properties now so since my shoulder's been feeling really good the past uh, week we're gonna go drop the trailer off and I'm gonna load up the Toro 30 inch and we're gonna go mow them properties so I have to drag this heavy trailer all over the countryside wasn't too awful bad loading that up but we'll see uh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem so we should be uh, good for the rest of the season not to be pulling that big old heavy trailer all of these scattered out uh, yards anymore so uh, we're gonna go take off and take care of them yards
that wasn't too awful bad. A little jarring on his shoulder, a little bit of pain, a little, you know, when the first jar of it, but, you know, it's getting better all the time, so I don't have to worry too much about the shoulder. I think it's just uh, strengthening uh, or uh, put weight on it, I guess. I'm not really too comfortable with that yet because I get a sharp stabbing pains, but we'll just keep working at it and eventually it'll be all healed up here in the next two weeks, I'm hoping. Well, one thing about uh, push mowing all these small yards, it's only 87 degrees, so it's not too bad. But now it is time for Vicki's question of the day. Good afternoon. Well, since we're about halfway, over halfway through the lawn season, you know, we started back April, around the 21st of April, and we've only got, I'm thinking about 10 more weeks of mowing grass. In our area. Yes, and that would take us to like the first week in October. How do y'all stay motivated so you keep on moving? so you can keep on going because I'm sure everybody's tired like we are. If you want to leave your comment at the bottom of the box, that would be awesome. Well, we got all of our yards done, all the push mowing done, and it is raining. And we really, really needed the rain and we had everything done and that's great. So please uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell uh, for get notified when we upload the next video. And that's going to be the end of our video for today. Thank you for watching us mow grass in Northeast Michigan. Have a good evening. See you at the next month. Peace. Goodbye.